Dunlak travels 30 km by auto, 420 km by train and 105 km by bus to reach his native place. The journey takes 4 hours. Speed of the train is 3 times that of the bus and 250% more than the auto. Find the speed of the train. Okay. So we need to find the speed of the train. There is a question of ratios. Now let's look at the numbers first. The 3 items are autos, bus and train. Let us find out the ratio of speeds for each one of them. We are given that the speed of the train is 3 times that of the bus. So, if the speed of bus is 1, speed of train should be 3. And speed of train is 250% more than auto. 250% more means it is 350% or 3.5 times. So, if the speed of train is 3.5, the bus speed of auto should be 1. So, the combined to find the combined ratio, multiply the first one with 3.5 and the second one with 3. Or it becomes 10.5. So, this should be speed of bus should be 1 third. Or 3.5 speed of auto should be 10.1 uh, into 3, so 3. Okay. Now, what does this mean? This means the speed of the train should be multiple of 10.5 or 105. This should be the answer. The others are not a multiple of 10.5. In fact, you could even say the speed of train should be a multiple of 3, not a multiple of 3. The others are. Okay. So, so, so remember your uh, this this basic principle that questions are created with simple numbers. Most probably 210 is the answer. If you have doubts, we will verify that. So, if the speed of the train is 210, okay, this 105 means 35 and 30. So, if the speed of train is 210, speed of bus will be 70 kilometers per hour and speed of auto will be 60 kilometers per hour. So, let's verify. If the train speed, if it is 210, is the time taken 4 hours or not? If it is, then this becomes the correct answer. Okay. So, Auto 30 kilometers at 60 kilometers per hour means half an hour. Uh, 420 kilometers of train at 210 kilometers per hour is 2 hours. And 70 kilometers by bus at 70, uh, uh, sorry, 105 kilometers by bus at 70 kilometers per hour is 3 by 2. 35 into 2 and 35 into 3 or 1.5 hours. What is the total time taken? 2, 3.5 and 0.54. Correct answer is 210 because at 210, the time taken is coming out to be 4 hours. Okay. <coughs> now, in this question, so you could say that we were a little fortunate that there's only one choice multi, which is a multiple of uh, uh, 105. Now, let me change the, the equation then. Let me change the other three choices also. Let me take is 105, 315 and 420. Now, all choices are multiple of 105. What should I do? Again, let me look at the same ratio, auto, bus and train. This was 105, this is uh, 35 and this is 30 kilometers per hour. Okay. Since all are multiples of 105, go with 105 only. If the speed of train is 105, how much time does it take? 30 kilometers by auto at 30 kilometers per hour is 1 hour. 420 kilometers by train at 105 kilometers per hour will be 4 hours. And 35 kilometers per hour for bus uh, for 105 kilometers, 3 hours. What is the total? 4, 3, 7 and 1, 8. So, if the speed of train is 105 kilometers per hour, you are going to take 8 hours. The question says 4 hours. So, that means for 4 hours, the speed should be 210 kilometers per hour. So, it does not really matter whether the, all the choices are multiple of 105 or not. End of the day, you need to work in a systematic manner using the basic principles.